All right, your next comic, you might have seen him in Dayton, you might have seen him in Athens, you might have seen him in Columbus, you might have seen him in Parkersburg. Give it up for Nathan Hart! I don't know what that fucking song is. <laughs> they asked us for walk-up music and gave a walk-up song, they played it for the last guy. So, uh, I don't know what that was, was that country or something? I mean, does anyone know that song? Whose walk-up song was that? Oh, it's Rush Ryan's walk-up song? All right, well, I don't know what he's gonna get, so, uh, how's everyone doing tonight? We're here in West Virginia. Uh, yeah, woo, West Virginia, the second one. Look, it's true, I mean, it's just, it's game second. So, um, I'm gonna do this thing real quick. So this morning, I was like, I'm gonna write down types of people I think I'll see at a West Virginia comedy show. And, uh, Ryan can verify, I didn't write them down when I got here. I didn't look around and write down people I saw. I sent, I wrote it down, I brought them here, and I'm gonna read you some of them right now. It's on this notepad. Okay, so, guy who laughs louder than everyone else. <laughs> All right, well, no one, there's no strong candidates here. Um, Middle-aged couple looking serious as I read this. I don't know, someone's had like a, like a crap, like, uh, you guys look kind of serious. Uh, I just wrote big guy. We got a lot of big guys here. You're wearing an animal, like, Hawaiian shirt, that's a great shirt. We got a lot of big guys here. I mean, I'm from Ohio, so we got big guys there too. But I feel like the proportion of large men is, has gone up when I walk in this bar. <laughs> Someone wearing camo. Is anyone wearing camo tonight? I guess I wouldn't see him. <laughs> All right, we got guy wearing a hat to conceal possibly bad hair, which is a lot of them. I, uh, people that decided me, or you might have seen when I turn around and put stuff down when I come up here, you were like, man, this guy's packing the smallest gun ever, or his ass is deformed. <laughs> no, but I actually like being bald. Being bald is a bit of a blessing. You know, we got Mr. Clean out here, he knows. Um, I see a lot of brave patriots here tonight that have taken the plunger and gone full bald. Um, cause some, some, a lot of men, they keep the, the stuff on the side, and it just, it doesn't look good. I don't know why you're hanging on to that. I don't, I don't see anyone... Oh, he's naughty at me. The, the, the ball. Do you have a, can you take off your hat? Can we see it in the full glory? Whoa! All right. See, I mean, sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet, man. I think you're at that point. Where... Look, no, I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not making any kind of way about it, but is it, does anyone wanna guess how old I am? Does anyone wanna, make, wanna throw a guess out there? Someone throw, someone give me a number. 30? 30? I'm 23 years old. Right? So, God cursed me with the receding hairline of a middle-aged man by the time I was like 14. All my hair, before, I had hair before, but when I had hair, it looked like it was running away from my face. Um, so, uh, I, I just thought, I was like, fuck it, I'll get rid of it. I mean, it's not doing anything for me. And I was so scared that I was not only balding, but that my, my head was misshapen in some way. But I got it all cut off, and I was like, fuck yes, my head is shaped like pearl. It is perfectly round. Like, we got a lot of good, like, good head shape, good head shape. I mean, I don't know how anyone else's head is, because a lot of people have hair in here or hats on, but, I mean, very solid head shape, and I was, I was so excited to, that I had such good head shape. I'm, I'm like a, just a nice little egg guy. Um, it's, it's nice being bald, because people always come up to you, especially when you're at a bar, they go, hey, can I touch your head? And the answer is always yes. Does anyone in the front row want to touch my head real quick? You, you know. Oh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like palming a fleshy basketball. I had a very weird thing when I came in here. Um, I came in here off the road. I went to the bathroom. And uh, I, I, I post up at a urinal. And a guy walks in. And he, uh, he, he comes to the urinal next to me. And he goes, where's your hat? <laughs> And I was uh, two things went through my mind. One, that I had violated some sort of West Virginia social norm, where you wear a hat to the bathroom so God can't sing into your soul. Two, this man standing right next to me was going to pivot towards me and pee on my head. 
Luckily that didn't happen. Uh, he was just commenting that it was cold in the bathroom and that I had no hair. And also I noticed there's a fucking boar right here. Is this a real boar? Well, I mean, I mean, he's, he's right here, he's real. He looks, he looks kind of excited, you know? He's happy to be here. 